Hi, I'm John. I'm an engineer by trade and also an expert in fitness machines. We've got a treadmill here and there's a problem with the running belt on the treadmill. You can probably see that it's running too far towards my side, too far to the left. And also if you listen to it, you can hear the side of the belt is rubbing against the inside of this, this part here. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to adjust that. And I'm going to do it with the belt running. Now you might choose to stop the running belt, um, but for the purposes of this, this demonstration, I'm going to do it with the system running. Um, but I recommend you stop it, it's just safe, and you don't, won't get your fingers trapped. And I'm going to use an Allen key. This is a regular Allen key. Um, because it's dark and the machine's dark, I'm switching to this device, which is it's basically an Allen key on a ratchet, but you can see this a lot easier and see the movements I make. Um, so we're going to use this instead, but essentially it's the same tool as, as what you'll have. In fact, one of these will probably have come with the machine, so if you still have that, um, you can use that. So to make the running belt correct, I need to make it go that way. I need to bring it into the center of the machine. So to do that, if you imagine my arm here is the re represents the rear roller, then what I need to do exaggerated is bring this corner out like that. That will make the running belt go that way. So to do that, there's an adjusting screw in here. There's also one over that side. I'm going to use this side. And with my Allen key, I'm going to locate it in the head of the adjusting screw, which is there. And I'm going to tighten the screw, which will pull the roller out towards me and give me that effect of doing that. So I'm going to set it to tighten, which is clockwise or righty tighty. And I'm going to put half a turn on and another half a turn. And I'm going to wait and see what happens. The key to adjusting running belts is make small adjustments, give the belt time to react and to move before you make more adjustments. So we'll give that about 10 or 20 seconds and we'll just see what happens. We can see the belt starting to move that way. It's going to need a little bit more. So we'll put another half a turn on and another half a turn. And now straight away you can hear that it's gone quiet or quieter, which is indicating that the face of the belt here has stopped rubbing on the inside of the edge of this uh, plastic trim here. Once the belt's running central, We then need to do another check, and we need to check to see whether the belt tension is correct. Now, if the running belt's been lubricated, um, this, the, an effective test that you can do is called a stomp test, and I'll show you what a stomp test is. You need to do it with the machine running, so what we're going to do is, with our foot, just see if we can get the running belt to stall. Just like that. And you can hear, when it stalls, you can hear the front roller is still slipping, which indicates that the belt is too loose. The ideal scenario is that the belt is tight enough so that I can just hear the motor start to stall out. So I need to put a little bit of tension on that running belt. So having brought it into a line this way, I now also need to just increase the tension and bring this roller back out that way. So I'm going to do that using the same adjusters, but this time I'm going to put the same amount of adjustment on each one. And I'm going to put a full 360 degree turn on there and a full 360 degree turn on here, just like that. And now I can recheck, do my stomp test again. There we go. That's just tight enough. You can see I really have struggled, I really will struggle to stall that. And that tells me that the belt there is tensioned just enough. So that's perfect. So those are the two adjustments. The one adjustment to bring the belt central and the second adjustment is to increase the tension of the belt just so that it passes the stomp test. And those are both adjustments that you can do with simply an Allen key.